the Gig Economy 101. Short task sites may not pay well and even if you have a lot of skills, you may find yourself constantly searching for work since you don't have the security of an employer and stable paycheck. I often get questions from people asking how they can go full-time with their site business idea or freelance service. Here are some steps to take if you want to make a living in the gig economy. There are tons of in-demand services you can try in the gig economy. From babysitting and dog walking to photography, freelance writing, and VA work, you just need to narrow down your interests and skills. Sure, this might seem like you're playing right into the idea of having competition, but there's often enough business going around for everyone. Don't think you're going to become rich just because you have a unique service to offer. It's important to make sure there is a market and demand for the service whether online or in your local area. Short task sites can be helpful if you're looking to make extra money. If you're trying to make a full-time income, however, short task sites can only take you so far. You'll need to make more money and to do that, you need to offer services independent of any website that's going to offer low-paying opportunities or charge fees that eat into your profits. I don't know anyone who makes a full-time income using sites like Fiverr or Upwork and don't feel extremely stressed out and overwhelmed. You can make much more money if you set your own prices for your services. You can use short task sites to network, build up your skills and establish a portfolio. From there, you may want to consider creating your own website where you can create packages for your services and work with higher paying clients. Set your prices for profit. It's important to set your own prices for your service in the gig economy. You want to have your own independent service and set prices for profit. Setting prices can be difficult for some people. You want to price for profit because it ensures you'll have some money left over to grow your business. When you're determining pricing, factor in your skill level along with the benefits clients would have a result of working with you. Pricing for profit is smart because it means you're not working 24-7 and you're still making enough money to cover all your expenses and stash something away for the lower earning months if income fluctuates. Pitch them your services by doing a discovery call or setting up a trial run so you can demonstrate your skills. It takes a longer time to grow your business in the gig economy this way, but it's worth it. It took me 18 months to build up my freelance business to start generating a full-time income so I could quit my 9 to 5 job. Have you ever thought about taking advantage of the gig economy and building a side business?